hard drive versus SSD. In the corner, the hard disk drive. The traditional spinning hard drive has been a staple for many generations the generations of personal computers constantly improving technology has been enabled hard drive makers to pack more st storage capacity on smaller drivers drives than ever at a cost per gigabyte that still makes hard drives the best bank on the for uh, for the buck a sophisticated there become hard drives have been around since since 1956 the ones uh, the ones back then were two feet across and could store only a few megabytes of information but technology has improved to the point where you can cram 10 terabytes into some something about the same size as a kitchen sponge inside a hand hard drive is something that looks more like a bit uh, an older recorder player uh, that's a platter and stocked platter switch spin around like central ASICs a spindle that typically at about 5,000 up to 7,000 revolutions per time uh, some hard drives built per performance work fast in the opposite corner the solid state drive the solid state drive or SSDs have have become much more common in recent years. Their standard issue across Apple laptop lines, for example, the MacBook, Retina MacBook Pro and MacBook Air, all come with SSDs. So does uh, so so does the Mac Pro. Even Macs that don't come with SSD by default, like the Mac Mini or iMac, have SSD options of Fusion drivers, which combine SSD and hard drive storage together. Okay, let's begin. The HDD means hard disk drive, and the SSD means solid state drive. The hard drive uses magnetic storage, and the SSD uses integrated circuit. Um, the a uh, hard drive uh, first was first introduced in 1960 and this is the in 1989 the uh, hard drive price is one and the SSD is four times bigger the hard drive can store up to 60 terabytes and the SSD up to 60 terabytes how does it uh, it work the hard drive in your computer's hard drive, there aren't really any iron nails. They're just a large shiny circuit called plate of magnetic material called a platter, divided into billions of tiny areas. Each one of those areas can be independently magnetized to store one or damaged to store zero. Magnetism is used in computer storage because it goes on string and info even when the power isn't switched off if you magnetize a nail it says magnetizations until it demotizes it uh, here is uh, ha uh, the things in the hard drive you can see a platter spindle head and other things how does it work the SSD it uses semono semiconductor chips are not magnetic media to store data your computer already comes with chips of course the motherboard contains some of that house your device system memory or ram which is where information is stored and pro processed when your computer is running computer types refer to such memory as volatile memory because it ever prepares as soon as your machine loses power, the chips used in a solid state drive deliver no volatile memory, meaning the data stays put even without power. SSD chips are located in the motherboard. They have their own power to the
less power consumption, silent operation, weight, lightweight, perfect for portable devices. It's not very long, but I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful. If it was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. But it, if it wasn't helpful, leave a dislike. I will appreciate this. So, thank you for the support and see you in the next video. Bye! Hope you like the video and if you do, you can subscribe here or watch the previous video here. Bye!